Hello and welcome back for another Elder Scrolls cookbook cooking video. Today I'm making the apple and cabbage stew from the, the book. And I started out by melting down two tablespoons of butter into which I added one leek that I uh, sliced as finely as I could get it. And I've just been letting this saute down. You want to let it go until it starts to turn translucent and the edges start to brown up a little bit. Almost like you're caramelizing them, but not quite. You don't want to go as far as a, a caramelized onion. Some of these are starting to turn brown. I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little pinch of salt to this just to help it uh, break down a little bit better and to help with the browning process and plus it's going to give it some flavor we don't want these to go too far because we're going to add in some cabbage here in a minute all right at this point the leeks are where i want them and i'm going to add in half of a half a head of a uh, green cabbage that I just sliced with my knife and we're going to dump all that in. <laughs> the good part is, is this is going to cook down. So let me stir that in and get the uh, leeks moved in around so they don't end up burning on the bottom. And I am going to add another pinch of salt at this point too. This will help draw some of the moisture out of the uh, cabbage and help it wilt faster. Plus it adds flavor again. While this is cooking down, let me remind you of the community driven playlist that Japica Death and I have going on on our channels. If you guys would like to be a part of that, it's quite easy. All you have to do is go out and make a cooking video of what you and your family and friends like to eat and then once that's done post it to your channel and let either JPEG or I know down in the comments section of our latest cooking videos or if you are a part of his discord server you can let us know over there as well now these are starting to soften up nicely but I think I'm gonna let them go just a little bit longer it's probably been about seven, eight minutes so far, but I think I'm going to let them go for a good 15 before we go on to the next step. And while this is doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start getting my apples ready. I didn't want to get them ready too soon because they will brown up. And I don't want to put them in acidulated water, which is water that has lemon juice in it or citric acid because I don't want that added flavor in my final soup and sometimes if you let them sit for too long it will pick up a little bit of that lemon flavoring so while i'm doing that we're just going to let these cook down all right guys at this point my cabbage is exactly where i want it it's nice and tender and we are ready for the next step i'm going to add now the recipe calls for one teaspoon of dried thyme and I tend to find the recipes in these books they kind of use a little bit too much thyme so I'm only going to add about half of this and if it needs the other half I will come back in and add it later but I can always add more but I cannot take out what I've put in so oh it smells so good already All right, we are also going to add in six cups of chicken stock. Again, I'm using homemade chicken stock, but if you have, if you do not can or make your own homemade stock, you can use 
store-bought and it will work just as well. And I'm only going to add in about half of this jar. These are about four cups in each one. So there we go. And I'm also going to add in our apples at this time. And then I will cover this and let it cook until just until the apples start to soften. I don't want them to go down too far. You want them to retain their, their shape and a little bit of the texture, but you do want to cook out some of it. Today I'm using Granny Smith apples and I'm also using one Fiji apple. I have one Granny Smith and one Fiji apple and those are just going to go straight in. And I want to get those stirred in before they start to brown from the air. And I did leave the skins on those. There we go. And I'm going to add just a little touch of pepper just because I like pepper with my cabbage soup so I'm not going to add quite as much as I normally would but I do want a little hint of it in there and again that is a step that you can leave out the recipe does not call for the pepper nor does it call for the salt and I actually think I'm going to go ahead and add the other two cups of broth to this. So I'm going to use a total of eight cups. My cabbage head may have been a little bit bigger than what theirs were. All right, guys, I'm just going to let this simmer until the apples start to soften. And I will see you when it's done. All right, guys, our apple and cabbage stew is done. I cooked it probably another 15 minutes and our apples have softened up nicely but they are still maintaining their shape so they didn't uh, dissolve into the broth. Let's get in here and give it a quick little taste and see what we think about it. Mm. <laughs> this is really good. I like the addition of the apple into the cabbage. It gives it a nice, a little bit of a, a sweet balance, but I think the Granny Smith apple, the tartness from it, will kind of help balance out the sweetness from the Fiji apple. I definitely made the right call on putting in less time than what the recipe called for. If you guys like a lot of time, go for the full one teaspoon. But for me and my family, we're going to stick to the half of a teaspoon. And today I am pairing it with the cabbage biscuits that I made. I will leave a link to that video down in the uh, description below. These biscuits pair really well with the apple and cabbage stew. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. If you liked this video, leave me a comment down below. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist as well as the Elder Scrolls playlist. And I will leave links down in the description to them. But for now, thank you for joining me. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I see you in the next one.